In this video, I want to talk about using RStudio to model the binomial distribution. The first thing I want to look at for the binomial distribution is how to calculate an actual probability. Let's say we have a particular binomial distribution. I'm going to note this by D binome. The first argument I need here is the number of successes. Let's suppose we're flipping a coin 10 times and we want four heads. So we would need four successes. We're completing this experiment 10 times, and the probability of success is 0.5. We can then run this command, and we see we have a probability of 0.205 that we will get four out of 10 heads. If we want a range of values, Let's suppose we want between four and seven heads. In that case, we start with four colon seven, so we know we're running from four to seven. We're performing our experiment 10 times, and the probability of success is 0.5. Running this, we see the value of four, five, six, and seven. If we actually want to add these, we want to find the actual probability that this particular value is between 4 and 7. We would just sum all of these values. So I would sum the D binomial between 4 and 7 of 10, comma, 0.5. And I would get 0.7734. Next, I actually want to create a binomial distribution and look at the graph of the PDF. The first one I want to look at is I want to run my successes between 0 and 20. So this is the entire sample space if the total number of times we're running this trial are 20. And let's suppose the probability of success is 0.3. I'm going to do a similar one, y, only this time my probability of success is 0.5. And finally a z where this is the same thing, except my probability of success is 0.7. Now that I've stored those variables, let's actually look at the graph of them. By running plot x, I have the plot of x, so this would be the probability distribution if my probability of success was 0.3 and my total number of trials was 20. Next, we plot y. This will be the probability of success equal to 0.5. We can see it's much more symmetric, whereas the plot of x was right skewed. And finally, the plot of z that we can see is now left skewed. And so we can see how the probability, if my probability of success is 0.5, it's a symmetric distribution. Lower than 0.5 would be right skewed. Bigger than 0.5 is left skewed.